So ProPresenter released an update just a few weeks back. And in this new update, ProPresenter teamed up with Multitracks to give you the fastest and easiest way to add chords to your stage screens. Because most of the time, if you're using chords on your stage screens, you're gonna have to enter those in by hand, or you have to gonna take screenshots or import uh, PDFs and chord charts into each stage screen and upload those. Um, and then if you change keys or something like that, then you'd have to go in and replace those, et cetera, et cetera. This is by far the easiest way uh, to insert chords into your songs and it's pretty much automatic. It's just plug and play. Now, the downside to this is that it's gonna cost. Um, this is, uh, you know, paying for convenience. If you're not already using multi-tracks to some extent, then this is probably gonna be a hard sell to go all in on this um, in order just to get chords up on your stage screen. But if you're already invested in multi-tracks, then this might be an easy upgrade to make. So let's go over exactly what this is, what you need, and then how to get this set up very quickly. So what do you need to order from multi-tracks in order to actually get chord charts into ProPresenter? The first thing you'll need is Chart Pro, which is gonna be $180 annually. And then you'll also have to include the ProPresenter add-on, which is another $120 annually. And then the last thing that you'll need is the Cloud Pro subscription with at least a plus tier or higher. And that's actually gonna be about $430 annually. So all of that with no discount is gonna be about $730 annually. Now, when I looked at all this online, they will give you basically a two month uh, discount. So that price comes down at least for the first year. Uh, but that's still a lot, again, just to add chord charts into your stage screen. But like I said, at the beginning of this video, if you already have a couple of these subscriptions, then this might be a little bit of a no brainer. For example, at my church, we actually already had the Cloud Pro Plus. Cloud Pro Plus, that is a mouthful, dude. We already had the Cloud Pro Plus subscription. <laughs> For example, my church, we already had the Cloud Pro Plus subscription, so that was not something that we needed to pick up. And we actually already recently just picked up uh, Chart Pro, so that was something that we didn't need. We just needed to add the ProPresenter uh, add-on, and then we were good to go with adding chords to our stage screen. So if you already have some of these subscriptions, uh, then this is gonna be a little bit easier. If you don't use anything with multi-tracks, then this is, uh, you know, this is a pretty big uh, jump, like I said just to get some chords on your screen. If you are new to multi-tracks, it is worth mentioning that obviously these subscriptions don't just give you the ability to put chord charts on your stage screen. You also get other features as well. A couple of those big ones being Playback, which is an app used to actually play backing tracks from an iPad. And then you also get a Chart Builder, which is basically like multi-tracks version of Onsong. So you could use uh, Chart Pro and Chart Builder to actually replace uh, Onsong or any other chord chart system uh, that you use uh, in order to access chord charts from your iPad or uh, just computer or things like that. And continuing with uh, our church as an example, we recently switched over to Chart Pro and Chart Builder, so we actually no longer have a need for Onsong and then Song Select, uh, at least the portion um, of the service that gives you the ability to access the chord charts. Uh, now, we still need the CCLI license uh, from CCLI for streaming and then in-person services and things like that. Um, although I was talking to a rep at uh, Multitracks and they actually said that that is something that they're kind of working towards a solution uh, for like CCLI licensing and things like that. So uh, potentially down the road uh, at some point we might be able to even cancel our CCLI subscription and be able to get the rights to you know play music in in-house and then online streaming uh, straight from Multitracks. Uh, so that's a possibility coming down the line uh, at some point. But at least for us right now, we're still able to cancel on song and we're still able to cancel song select to save us a little bit of money there. Okay, real quick, I gotta actually cut in here. All right, so I realized while editing this video back uh, that I never actually talked about our personal experience. How do we actually like using this feature that ProPresenter has incorporated? Um, short answer, I like it. I like it a lot. It's been simple, it's been easy, it's been quick. There's been only one hiccup, which I'll talk about in a second, but it's been so simple. Like even just a couple weeks ago, uh, I was leading a song at church and I wanted to change the key. So I mentioned it back there to pro presenter. I said, hey, can you bump this key up? And uh, they were like, sure, no problem. Did it in a couple seconds and boom, just like that, we have uh, brand new chords in the new key. And uh, that's especially helpful for someone like me. I don't have any chord charts in front of me. I usually have most of the chords memorized and things like that when I'm playing. But you know, sometimes you just like that extra reference on the back screen and uh, being able to change the 
chords like that, the key, uh, just so quickly like that has been super helpful. Um, Cause you know, if we wrote out all those chords in the notes, like most people do, if you're putting chords into a stage screen, uh, you write them out by hand. So we would have to go back and actually rewrite all of those chords out. Uh, for the new key. But yeah, it's been nice to be able to change the key just as easily as you would change maybe the arrangement of a song uh, in ProPresenter. Now, getting on to what I kind of didn't like, the only really hiccup that I've had uh, is one time when we were about to start a night of worship, for some reason, uh, ProPresenter acted like we weren't logged into our multi-tracks account. So we had to go back in there and we had to re-log into our multi-tracks account so it could verify that we actually do indeed pay for the subscription. Now, this was only one time. We've probably been using this now for uh, a month and a half, maybe close to two months. But that's really the only issue I've had using this. And uh, as long as it stays that way, I'm gonna be really happy with adding this to our workflow. And uh, if it's something that you want to actually implement yourself, uh, then watch the rest of this video because I show you how to do that step by step. All right. Back to the video. So now let's real quickly move on to how to actually set this up and get your chord charts on your stage screen. So first, after you get those three subscriptions, uh, the next thing you wanna do is update to the most recent version of ProPresenter, which at the moment is uh, ProPresenter 7.8. And once you do that, you can come into ProPresenter and then you can log into your multi-tracks account, which if you just go up to the little search bar up here, you'll see the new multi-tracks logo. And once you click on that, you can then sign into your multi-tracks account. And once you sign into your multi-tracks account, you can then search for any song that you wanna do uh, in the multi-tracks tab here, and it'll pull up songs from multi-tracks database. So you're gonna have to uh, basically get rid of any old songs that you have from uh, song select, and then you're gonna have to import all those songs again from multi-tracks database, so you can actually get the chord charts to go along with it. So let's replace the song that we're on right now here again, and I'll pull that up and import that. And see here we have a couple new options when we go to import a song. So first off, we can choose to bring in the chords and automation, which we're gonna wanna do if we want the chords. Then we can choose how many lines per slide right here, either one, two, or four. So I'm gonna leave it at two. I can pick a custom theme that I want associated with it if I want. I can name the song, choose the library, and choose the playlist. And because this song is actually already in my default library, even though it's from Song Select, it still won't let me import a new song until I've deleted the old one, or I can just go ahead and import it into a new library, which I'm gonna do, and I titled that Multi-Tracks Imports, so they're all together in the same library, and then I'm gonna hit Import. So now we have our multi-track song inside of our new library. So now that the song is imported, I can go and adjust any key settings and things like that if I want to. You can go up to this little musical note here, and then here are the list of every key, major or minor, and you can just select the key that you wanna play this song in. So if I change it to C, it'll change to C. And then as I click through the slides, you can see that that key has changed to the correct key. The last thing that you wanna check is just make sure that you have a stage screen that is actually linked to these multi-tracks chord charts. And I believe in this update, they will actually give you a new stage screen that has the multi-tracks uh, charts linked to that stage screen. But I actually made a custom stage screen that I prefer uh, over that one that is linked to those ProPresenter chord charts. And if you're interested in checking that one out, I actually have a link to that where you can download that and import that into your own ProPresenter so then you can use that as your own stage screen as well. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description below as well as a full tutorial on how to import that and start utilizing it for your church. Now, if you don't want the template and you just want to uh, make sure that your stage screen is synced with multi-tracks, then I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're going to want to go up to your stage editor. And once you click on stage editor, you can actually hit the plus. And at the very bottom here, there's multi-tracks plus lyrics. And once you open that, that is actually synced with multi-tracks. So if you use this, uh, it's gonna be linked and it's gonna pull those chord charts in from multi-tracks. And I know this because if I click on this current text slide right here and I come over to text and then I go down and it shows chords and that is checked to on and it says multi-tracks and the notation is chords. And I could change that to numbers, numerals, etc., And I could change the color of that um, or I could turn that off and the chords disappear there. 
Um, but that is where to go if you want to add that to your current text slide uh, on your own stage screen. And that's where you go if you want to adjust those settings in the new uh, stage screen that ProPresenter gives you by default. Now, the last thing, just make sure that stage screen is actually active because if you have a lot of stage screen templates, you want to make sure that that one's active and not one of your previous stage screens. So just to make that one uh, current, just go over to screens, go down to stage screen one, and instead of whatever one you have selected, just make sure you select the new one, multi-tracks, chords, and lyrics. And then if I go back to show, it'll show up right there on stage screen one. So anyway, that's a quick look at setting up a stage screen so you can have quick and easy chord charts every single week for every single song. Uh, if you have any other questions about how to get this set up and running, or if you have any questions about anything else ProPresenter related, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And feel free to check out that free stage screen template if you're interested in just importing a new template and having those uh, chord charts ready to go along with some other fun features like showing you the current song that you're on and then as well as the next song that you're on. Also, if you happen to be new to ProPresenter and you're just looking to get up and running uh, as quick as possible, well, you can also check out the ProPresenter Quick Start Guide, which is actually designed to help get people up and running uh, fast and efficiently with ProPresenter 7. So if you're interested in that too, all of the links, the links to everything, are in the description below. <laughs> anyway, if you got anything from this video, please leave a like and a comment. I want to hear what you learned, what you got out of this, how you're going to uh, up your pro presenter game potentially, um, or what decision you came to uh, when it comes to if you're going to get into this multi-tracks uh, chord charts thing uh, or not. Um, yeah, anyway, with that being said, I appreciate you watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I can show some B-roll of that right now so you get a, uh, a view of what that's like. I don't have to say that. I can just show it to you. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat>